Good afternoon and welcome to Create with the Crickets here. I am doing a quick video on how to do a coupon book using um, the sampler cartridge I have, the Spring Fever Holiday. Um, I'm doing this for the Fame Tabulous Cricket Challenge blog. Um, this, this week's challenge is to do something with um, thankful in it. And so I thought it would be really cool to do a coupon book for my husband showing how thankful I am for everything that he does for us and the sacrifices he makes so he can pull little coupons out with it. So here we go. So I cut all of my coupon images from Spring Fever Holiday um, at three and a half inches. I used fall colors, the Paper um, Studio Natural Botanical cardstock. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to use my ATG gun and I'm going to go ahead and, oh, sorry adhere all these pieces onto the coupon. Really simple and it'd be really, it's good too. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to make one um, a little more festive probably um, for the kids to earn coupon book pieces to use after they do so many chores or something. So here we go. You just adhere that right on there. I'm going to put that to the side. I have some extra pieces because I ended up with extra ones. I did six pages. Um, you can do more, you can do less, you can do smaller, you can do bigger. I got the Spring Fever cartridge with my Cricut Expression 2. Um, I bought it on HSN, so I'm not sure if it was just a uh, exclusive for them or what the deal is, but that's where I got mine from. Um, this is like my favorite one, and in fact, I have an SVG cartridge, card, um, not a cartridge, an SVG file that makes boxes, and I think that I'm going to have to make a box. It's so quiet in my house, all my kids are asleep. So I want to take time to record this video without the munchkins interfering. If you do not, um, if you're not a follower of the Fantabulous Cricket blog, um, Challenge blog, I would highly recommend you to follow it. It's really fun to do a challenge to do, and you have all week to do it. And then you get to enter and see if you, I think, I think, I should know because I'm a designer for them. I think you can win prizes. I'm not 100% sure, but I want to say that I've seen sponsors on there. I know sometimes you can win prizes. Yeah, see how simple that is? I love my ATG gun. I bought my ATG gun at, um, oh my gosh, what did I buy it off of? It's on the sidebar of my blog. And I just went blank. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to look. If you're not a follower of Create with a Cricketeer, um, it's actually cricketeer at blogspot.com. Um, please follow me. I want to get enough followers so I can start doing fun things on my blog. So... Here we go. Here's all my tags. Those are my extra ones. This is the front and the back. Like I said, I did a fall theme. And I think, actually, I might use one of these on the front to put the coupon name. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stagger them like this. It's such a fun idea. I was, I've been dying to try to use this part of the spring fling one and then I was like oh I can make a coupon book and if you can see the Cricut actually cuts off the um, preparation marks Prefer pre yeah you know what I mean you guys know what I mean I think the best way to do this actually is to actually put adhesive on the back of each one and then I'll put the brads through and I have a I was going to say, I do have brats. I'm trying to think of what it is. Also, if you're watching this um, blog, um, this episode, I would encourage you, there's, on my blog, there's a Twilight blog hop going on, and I want to say it's all this week. I'm a Twilight fan. I went and saw Breaking Dawn at midnight last night, because I'm recording this video on Friday, and let me tell you... One, it's probably not the best idea to stay up until 3 a.m., but it was so worth it. It was so much fun, so. I went and saw my Twilight. <laughs> In fact, I think 
actually, I saw some really great, um, so far, these really great projects with Twilight um, Digi Stamps. If you don't know what a Digi Stamp is, basically you print it and then you color it in and everything. It's really, they're really neat um, stamp sets. And I was thinking I might have to get some of those and make some really cute Twilight little things for all my little Twiheart fans. Sadly, I don't have a kid old enough to even know what Twilight is. It's just me. <laughs> That's okay, though. I'm okay with being a dork. Hopefully, I'm, hopefully I'm paying attention enough. I really like this wood grain one. Oh, I'm going to try to find some other stuff to do with that. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I'm out of ATG. It's okay. I've got a backup. It's just not as cool. I broke this, but... It'll work. So, I know, the other day I was at Hobby Lobby, I should have bought more adhesive. It lasts for so long, but I do so many projects with it. And finally, my top page. These would be really great Christmas gifts, too, to give to your parents if you want to make some for your kiddos and they can fill them in, like... I'll do the dishes for a week. I would like someone to fill that one in for me. Or I'll walk the dog. I'd like that one to get filled in too. Yeah. Alright, so this is going to go right on top. I, just, I, I do, because of, you would really ideally be tape, but I'm out. Um, because things that you move around a lot and manipulate, you want to use the red sticky tape so that you can not mess it up every time you use it. Here we go. And then I put that right on top. You know, it's so plain. We're going to have to put something on top of it. Let me think. Let me think for a minute. What can I put on top? From what cartridge? I use Creative Critter all the time. Let's try to think of something else to put on top. But I have all of these pages left, and I like to use my score app, so maybe I'll put this. The only thing is I don't want it to interfere. Oh, but if I put it right here, if I can find scissors. Or hello, there's a big crooked cutting thing right here. Ha <laughs> ha! So, measuring it should be not measured that way because that wouldn't make sense. Duh, it's three and a half. I just told you guys that. One of those days. See, this is why you shouldn't stay up until 3 a.m. watching Twilight. Oh. Right here is where I want to put this. I don't know why. I really like that wood grain. Oh, man, see, this is why I'm so spoiled with my runner. Oh, you know what? I have another one. Maybe. What do I do with it? It's not, it's my super glue one or whatever it's called. Oh man, that one's been out of me too. But it's a lot faster than taking tape off and taking tape on. Alright, so it would have been smarter to put this on before I did it, but. Hmm. I don't do things the smart way. Shh. That's silly. Okay, let's see. So I want to put maybe something on the front so that I can put my husband's name on it. So let's do that. Maybe that. Man. There we go. I... I'm so used to hitting my little HEG button. Right, align that up. Oh, it's gonna have to overlap a little. That's fine. And then all you have to do left is you can do your little embellishments. I'll probably, I will probably add some bling to it actually. And I might even put like something on it, like like if I could talk, I could think of it. Like blessings or something. In fact, I have a whole. I shouldn't use pink stickles because 
My husband might not like that. I need to get, I need to go to Michael's because they have all their little things on sale. All right, let's move all this stuff out of the way so you can actually see what I'm doing. It's almost Black Friday, so I'd be getting a camera. No more webcamming it. It works, I guess. But I am going to stickle right here because I think everything needs to be blinged. And then I'm going to stickle right here. You know what? Oh, man. It's not even, but I'm going to stickle all around. Because I want it to be blinged out for him. And I'm going too fast. There we go. I wonder if I should bling it all the way around. I think so. I'll just pray that my little children can stay out of my room. And then all you have left to do after you create what you want to create on is it is you have to um, write, you know, what what your coupons are. Like, I'll probably put one free coupon to go gun shooting without me nagging. <laughs> I don't nag. Just kidding. But one free, he loves his motorcycle, so one free day of motorcycle riding and things like that. Because I don't, I mean, I think sometimes it's good to tell people that you appreciate everything they do. And my husband lets me do a lot of stuff. And I kind of am a frequent flyer of HSN, so he probably has tolerated a lot of my crazy, crazy spending. Not spending, I guess, as much as ordering things, which I guess is spending, but at least I use it all. And it's mostly craft related, so. Now I can give back to him with my crafting. So there's my, uh-oh, but I need brads. But I really want to say that I might not have brads that are big enough. Oh well, I'll look for brads in a minute. I have these brads, but they're not going to be big enough to even, I'm going to have to go back. I'm going to go get brads. Because all the other ones I have are like Christmas themed. I have all those pages. But the only thing I have left to do on my project is let it dry and then fill in my coupons. And once the coupons are filled in, you can pull them off and redeem them. I have to think of good coupon saying. So I hope you guys enter into the FCCB challenge this week and have a wonderful Thanksgiving. If I don't make any videos before then, but I'm gonna do my best to try. I uh, will see you guys later, and I hope you will follow my blog at cricketeer.blogspot.com. Thank you.